New at 10 tonight, a star Milwaukee Bucks player accuses a Whitefish Bay jewelry store of racial profiling. He says employees locked him out and then called the police. The store owner says this is all a misunderstanding. If a bunch of white guys come in with big heavy coats on and stuff, we're, go we're not going to let them in. I mean, we're, we're not going to let them in. The owner of that store says tonight he regrets how everything unfolded and he wants a chance to apologize to John Henson. Our Julia Fellow has been tracking this story all day and is live in Whitefish Bay tonight. And the owner also told me this afternoon that recent robberies have everyone on high alert, but that's no excuse for what happened just this afternoon as Henson was trying to buy his very first Rolex watch. It started with this picture of Schwanky Kasten on Instagram and a long caption from Bucks forward John Henson. They locked the doors and told me to go away. The owner, Tom Dixon, says there is more to the story. It's just a horrific misunderstanding, but as a jeweler, we feel so threatened lately. Police say the jewelry store on East Silver Spring Drive received a suspicious call on Friday. An officer parked outside noticed a Chevy Tahoe pull up with potentially stolen dealership plates. Dixon tells us it apparently did come back this afternoon. They did not realize it was a Bucks player behind the wheel. So you're saying it wasn't based on race? It had nothing to do with that. If it's three white guys or whatever with a stolen car, we're going to be a good citizen and call the police. Henson explains on his Instagram post he was approached by two Whitefish Bay police officers within minutes who questioned him about this fully loaded red Chevy Tahoe LTE. He was driving at the time that is part of an endorsement deal. Even after explaining the misunderstanding, employees asked police to stay. The employee requested that an officer stand by as they looked at the Rolexes. Our officers refused and left the store. Dixon tells us his employees' actions were never based on race. And it's too bad that people without knowing our situation are calling and leaving horrible messages and, you know, intimidating my staff. It's, it's not fair. It's, it's just not fair. We're good people. The Milwaukee Bucks also released a statement saying they are troubled by what happened here and that nobody should be treated this way. The owner, Dixon, also released another statement by email tonight saying he hopes to reach out to Henson, who has been a customer here in the past and has worked with him very well. Sit down with him, look at him in the eye, shake his hands, and apologize personally for what happened here today. Reporting live in Whitefish Bay, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4. All right, thanks, Julia. And this incident caught fire on social media. People are flooding the Google and Yelp pages of Schwanky Kasten with terrible reviews and comments. Yelp has started to actually take some of them down. The story is also being picked up by news media all over the country. This also has some Wisconsin lawmakers weighing in. Congresswoman Gwen Moore tweeted, quote, Some say racial profiling is a thing of the past. They're wrong. I'm sure John Henson can shed more light on this. And State Representative Mandela Barnes also tweeting about the incident, writing, he's probably the least threatening in appearance, just tall, like a super tall 14-year-old in the face, and goes on to say, that's one of how many places. I'm just glad his microphone was loud and credible enough that people heard it.